beyond our offer to BNOs, today we are taking two further measures, which are a necessary and proportionate response to this new national security legislation, which we've now had the opportunity to assess very carefully. First, given the role China has now assumed for the internal security of Hong Kong and the authority it's exerting over law enforcement, the UK will extend to Hong Kong the arms embargo that we've applied to mainland China since 1989. To be clear, the extension of this embargo will mean there'll be no exports from the UK to Hong Kong of potentially lethal weapons, their components or ammunition. And it will also mean a ban on the export of any equipment not already banned, which might be used for internal repression, such as shackles, intercept equipment, firearms and smoke grenades. So I have consulted with the Home Secretary, the Justice Secretary and the Attorney General, and the Government has decided to suspend the extradition treaty immediately and indefinitely. And I should also tell the House that we would not consider reactivating those arrangements unless and until there are clear uh, and robust safeguards which are able to prevent extradition from the UK being misused under the new national security legislation. Mr Speaker, there remains considerable uncertainty about the way in which the new national security law will be enforced. I would just say this, the United Kingdom is watching and the whole world is watching.